Hey guys, Mike from B Tech Reviews here, and we are out here doing Uber Eats and stuff like that. But uh, I am also carrying around the new Samsung Galaxy A23 that I got for Boost Mobile for ten dollars, uh, nine ninety nine, I guess. And if you pick a plan, it's going to be fifty dollars, fifty two with taxes um, after you know you pay whatever the plan. Uh, so here it is, the Samsung A23 5G and let's see if you guys can see that i'm already connected to the uh, 5g network over here um pretty simple process all i did was put the sim in and it started working so here it is there's the phone itself excuse the trash in the background uh, i wanted to run a speed test for you just so that you guys can kind of see uh right now it's about one o'clock in the afternoon it's still it's a little bit misty outside but i was like you know what let's go ahead and um I guess just do a live speed test i guess a few a few speed tests and just so you can see here it does say boost mobile but then when i click up here it does say that it is um t-mobile's uh servers instead so just a heads up on that um i know some t-mobile runs off at&t i don't know exactly uh which version i don't know if that's you know boost infinite or what but let's go ahead and run a speed test it does say we have 5g connected so uh, so far, I've been getting pretty good speeds. If it's running off the T-Mobile network, which is I know is good in my area, I know I'm not going to get horrible speeds, which is pretty good. So far, we got almost 200 download. Um, and then very good upload speed. A upload speed of what, 55, 60? That's not bad at all the heck that is it's like a fruit or something like that but as you can see here a download speed of 170 and an upload speed of 155 let's go ahead and change the uh the server so um, i'm not in austin i'm actually like probably like five hours away so let's go ahead and click uh, smart telecom in McAllen because that's where i am from and hopefully you guys are enjoying these uh not bad this one did break 200 by the way so i'm not complaining about the speeds and the uh, service from boost mobile it's making me kind of want to go back to to t-mobile or whatever you know i might i'm thinking about maybe porting over my uh my number from visible over to boost mobile again just because okay so i'm not sure what's going on the upload is kind of taking its time here and oh we got a live error i don't know what's going on there uh, let's go ahead and go to Signal Check Pro really quick. If I can find it. Hold on one second. There you go. So I do have the Sig Signal Check Pro app. Let's go ahead and find out. Uh, I guess, you know, for those that are more technical than I am when it comes to, you know, this. Go ahead and refresh it. Maybe we're not connected to any type of service. Maybe that's why we got an error. <laughs> I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I can be honest. I'm not actually sure what's going on with the app either. Let's see. Let's even kill the app. And we'll try that again just because I was like, usually I get something. It's telling me nothing. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. But I have no service via, according to Signal Check Pro. I don't know why. Um, preferences. Let's see. Status bar icon. I mean, I have all that turned off. I don't even know. I don't know if that's affecting the app but again i'm not i'm not getting any service or i'm not even getting any type of service from signal check pro that's kind of weird let's try that okay i'm not sure what's going on let's see system shortcuts reset mobile resetting mobile connection i don't know it says resetting mobile connection request bell permission to require for this feature okay that's kind of weird okay let's go back to uh again the speed test i don't know what's going on there and now okay i thought i'm thinking that man maybe i'm just not getting service anymore but no i mean you can see here that i am getting good download speeds uh on uh, the t-mobile i don't know what's going on with signal check pro sometimes that app could be wonky so I don't always want to rely on that uh but just you know for so that you guys can see the type of speeds i'm getting uh, on the boost network uh, where i live you know i live in south texas 
Uh, so, you know, for those of you guys who are curious about, uh, you know, you know, boost, boost mobile speeds, you know, it's going to vary depending on your area, but check that out. 267 download, which is really not bad. I was really hoping to get the, uh, the signal chip app working so that we can test that out. Let's, let's restart the phone. Maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe that needs to be, uh, adjusted. I just updated the phone to, to Android 13 this morning. Uh, so who knows what's going on with that? Let's go ahead and get the phone restarted. But overall, um, I guess thoughts about the phone so far, I'm not super disappointed. Uh, the, the phone has a 50 megapixel camera and it only has, um, you know, it has only 1080p recording. Uh, the screen's pretty nice. The phone is light, so it's not heavy at all. You really don't need a case for it, although it is a little bit slippery in hand. Um, it's a little more slower than I would like it to be. The Snapdragon processor uh, processor isn't really that fast. Uh, the four gigs of RAM, uh, it, I think it would probably do better if it had six gigs of RAM. But you know, again, that four gigs of RAM uh, isn't really doing much. If you guys, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say doing much. You know, the phone handles when it wants to. But let's you see. It, as you can see here, it does take a while to restart. And I really didn't have that many apps going on in the background either. I maybe had like Facebook, Facebook Messenger, uh, you know, Speed Test, uh, YouTube. And that's really it. Maybe like five or six apps at the most. But, you know, again, I just wanted to uh, put this video out for you guys really quick. So it's it's been doing this every single time I restart optimizing apps. I don't know. I've never had any of my other phones android phones say that say this one it's restarting so i don't know if it's a it's a samsung thing latrell if you watch this uh is this a samsung thing i don't even know because i really don't deal too much with samsung phones i think the last samsung phone that i tested out was the a51 i believe a51 or a52 and i really wasn't really too big of a fan of that phone uh, as well actually you know it was actually not a bad phone considering uh the price range it was a good mid-ranger um uh, had a lot of good features for the price actually if i can be honest um let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put my password in really quick hold on one second check out the cool background of goku doing ultra instinct i usually do naruto naruto but you know again since i'm a big dragon ball fan also i decided to go with this um let's check again let's see if signal check pro works i guess see there's a network companion app i haven't tried that but you know again i don't know if that if that's affecting here we go okay so it does say active so here are the bands that you guys can see again i don't really know uh but i do this so that you know the people that like uh guys like tito uh guys like sneed whoever else guys like carlos carlos s uh and i don't know why this this signal check pro needs permission all the time it shouldn't you should it should only do this when you need when you need when you want when you want to use the app no go back look at that it's, it's doing that on its own by the way but anyways let's go ahead and run one more speed test before we end this video because i think this video already probably is dragging out a little bit longer than i want it to while we're waiting for orders i'm gonna end up going back home because i'm super sleepy and i've been up since about five in the morning today so i need a good nap so Let's see if I can there we go so really not that bad honestly I'm not complaining um, so far so good again uh, I will be receiving the uh, the the, L, the Motorola stylus uh, later on this afternoon so I will be doing an unboxing of that device as well so it's gonna be testing out both phones for over the next couple of weeks and then after I use the month of service, I will be uh, selling them. So if you guys are looking to buy another phone, don't hesitate to reach out to me on Twitter or my Instagram, and we can work out a deal. Because um, I'm pretty sure these phones are not going to be $10 very much longer, but I guess we'll find out. If not, these will go on eBay. So um, 198 download, 43 upload. So not bad again, guys. Again, if you guys like the video, smash the like button. If you guys like the channel, please subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you again.